Hello and welcome back to another video. So in this video, we are going to talk about a color microphone. Now this is a wireless microphone system. It's very similar to Rode Wireless Go, if you are familiar with that. Now this is the very affordable alternative of that product. Now having a wireless microphone like this have its pros and cons, which we're going to talk about later in this video. By the way, this product was sent over by Simpson Store. Um, thank you so much for trusting my channel. Now let's go and unbox this little guy here and let's see what's inside. So what's included in the package? It includes one transmitter, which is the one TXA, and then one receiver, which is the one that you're going to put at on your camera or to your laptop. And this one is uh, one cable for your camera or laptop. Another cable for 3.5 mm jack for the phones when you're going to use this on your phone. It also includes a USB charger with two type C ports so that you can charge your microphones at the same time. Now it also has an adapter for the dead cat attachment and here is also a dead cat windshield to block those uh, wind when you're talking to the microphone. All right so let's talk about the receiver first. Now this is what you can find at the receiver part. There's also a headset here, uh, the built-in clip, and the power button, and the charger at the bottom. That's about it on the receiver. Then going to the transmitter, we're gonna find a power button, a set button, uh, plus and minus. There's also an earphone slot. After that will be the microphone, the built-in microphone. And what we have here is uh, you can use this microphone slot for a love mic if you have something like this. Now this is not included in the package. You can use this if you don't want to show this microphone. You can just plug in the love mic here and you can just hide this uh, microphone to your pocket or just clip it on your pants and, and just put this love mic here behind your shirt. That will be like the same microphone that I'm currently using right now, which is also a love mic, which you can't really see any external microphones like this showing up on camera. Now we can use this adapter for the dead cat. I think it will be better to put the dead cat first on the adapter before you attach it on the microphone, as it will be much more easier for you to assemble the dead cat. Now that's done, just attach this dead cat here to the microphone. And it's done. It actually looks pretty cute now. All right, so for these cables, we have one here for mobile phones. So if you're gonna use this on mobile phones, this is gonna be very useful for you. And the other one will be for DSLR, or you can also use this on your laptops. Now, as for the charger, it doesn't include any adapters. This is pretty common on any gadgets nowadays. What's the good thing about this uh, USB cable is that it has two type C ports. But of course, it requires very less power, so this should be possible because it's only a microphone. Now, let's try to sync both microphones. Let's turn on the receiver first and let's turn on the transmitter and let's see if it's going to sync automatically. And as you can see, it's now synced together. You'll know it when there's a, like this blue light here leading up and also there's a blue light here at the transmitter side. Now that was a really fast and easy syncing. So all you need to do is just put this receiver onto your camera or laptop where you're gonna just put it here the cable to your camera then after that you can use this to clip it here on your like where you want to clip if you want to show it you can just put it like this or if you want to hide it you can also do that now it's much more or less visible now I'm gonna do some short demos. So I'll be standing like two meters away from the receiver and let's see the quality of the audio if, if it's still there. And after that, we're gonna walk further away about three meters and lastly will be about five meters to six meters. 
So let's try that out. Now I'll just attach this to the camera so I have to replace my current microphone. Now I've just installed the receiver onto my camera. I'm not currently using my microphone anymore. So let's try out the demo. I'm gonna stand away two meters away from the camera or the receiver and let's find out if the sound quality is still good. All right, so I'm currently now two meters away from the receiver or the camera. Um, I've clipped the transmitter here at the, the color of my shirt. This is a microphone test, one, two, and three. All right, so I'm gonna go further away, three meters away from the camera. All right, so now I'm currently away three meters from the receiver. This is a microphone test for the color mic of f I'm not sure if how's the sound quality like right now, since I'm quite further away now. All right, so for the last demo, I'm gonna move further away, about five meters away from the camera. Now I'm currently about 4.8 meters or to five meters away from the camera. I hope that you can still properly hear me from here. So. This is a microphone test from f and this is 5 meters away from the receiver. Alright, so we're going to add another demo which the receiver will not be visible on the transmitter. I'm just going to move on the side here where the receiver is not visible. Okay, so I'm currently about still on about to 4.8 meters to 5 meters away from the receiver. But the only difference is that the receiver is not line of sight of the transmitter, which I hope that you can still hear me properly from here. This is a microphone test, still five meters away from the receiver. Microphone test one, two, and three. All right, so that's all the demos. As you can see, I'm still using this microphone while I'm talking right now. Also, I'm gonna test it out with a lovelier microphone. You put this one here on the slot here. And this microphone should be working and not the built-in microphone here. So I'm gonna lower my voice and let's see if it does really work. Microphone test for f color microphone. Mic test, one, two, three. Now I'm not sure if that works, so I'm gonna talk here also and compare the difference. Microphone test, one, two, three. Microphone test for f -tools. This is uh, using the external microphone. All right, so that's the demo. All right, so I hope that the demo was very useful for you. Now let's talk about the price. This microphone, this wireless microphone is very, very affordable. It only costs about 1,399 pesos. It can even go lower than that if there's a sale. Now this is the C01 model, which only has a one transmitter with a one receiver. They also have the model C02, which has two transmitters and one receiver. Now that can be very useful if you're shooting more than one person. Example will be like an interview where you need two microphones or even if you're just vlogging with a friend. Now I've put the link down in the description below. Check that out if you're interested to buy one for yourself. Now let's talk about the pros and the cons of this microphone. I'm gonna start with the pros and of course it's the affordable price. That's one of the biggest pros of this microphone. It's just very, very affordable for a wireless color microphone. Also, the quality build is not that bad considering it's very low price. They did a pretty good job in its build quality. As for the range on how far it can receive without any interference, I can safely say about only 10 meters I, as I haven't really tried it for a very long distance from your receiver. So I can safely say about 10 meters should still be clear. Another feature which I really like about this microphone is that it is chargeable and it also includes a Type-C port, which is really convenient. Now, some of the microphones that I have, especially the Lavalier microphones, I'm currently using AAA batteries for each of the receiver and the transmitter, which can be a hustle at some times. Now for the cons, I'm really disappointed at is that it lacks some mounting options. It only has this built-in clip at the back of the receiver and transmitter, which is not really recommended, especially on the receiver side, since most likely we will be mounting the receiver to the camera. Having that built-in clip option is uh, it's not really possible to do that. Now, as you can see here, this is another microphone that I have, which I can replace the back 
of the receiver to have like a clip options or the hot shoe mounting option. Other than that, everything is working great. Now, who is this wireless microphone for? Having a wireless microphone gives you more flexibility rather than using wired microphones. I can recommend this to students who are currently having online classes since you can use this on your laptop as well. And for those people who are working from home, um, you just need to make sure that your laptop has a 3.5 mm jack to support the microphone. This is also very useful for people who are starting to vlog. If you want to start vlogging and you just want to test the waters and you don't want to spend much, then this wireless microphone is your best bet. All right, so that's about it on this video, guys. Now, don't forget to check out the product. It's a product from the brand f uh, It's a Model C01. You can check out the link on the description below. Like this video if you find it useful and don't forget to subscribe to you know, support this channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great time and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.